So remember I told you about that TriArt um, company that has graciously sent me some cool new products to test and I wanted to show you about this watercolor ground. Now if you paint using acrylics, um, you probably have used different mediums to add to your paints such as um, a matte medium or a slow drying medium. I've never used a medium for watercolor. This is called watercolor ground. It acts like a gesso. So if you are familiar again with painting um, using even oil paints, but if you're using acrylics and you gesso your canvas first, or if you're working on a birch board, whatever it is, this watercolor ground is very similar to that. And I'm gonna show you here. So I've added the watercolor ground to this vintage um, paper that I picked up and I'm going to use some of TriArt's colors. I really like this green actually. And I'm not gonna mix anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and again, not use a mixing palette, but I'm just going to create a little bit of abstract play using a different camera again. I feel like this has been video number three that I've recorded, so hopefully you can see okay. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that watercolor to this watercolor ground medium and look how I can paint beautiful like just bright bold color on this paper that it's old I don't even know how old the book was maybe from the 50s um, because I have this watercolor ground on it so let's just do something really abstract I'm gonna add more of this and it's almost like a green gold I think that's what the color is called green gold adding more water and watching that color spread. This is a really nice, it's almost like a um, yellow ochre. Let's add some of that to the mix. And again, I'm not mixing a puddle of watercolor. I just want you to see what this uh, watercolor medium looks like. And then let's bring in some blue. Let's see how that but you can paint on any surface. If you want to draw um, a floral and paint a floral on a piece of paper like this and maybe add it to your sketchbook, you can turn any surface into a surface that will accept watercolor using this ground, uh, watercolor ground. I'm gonna put it aside for it to dry because this is going to be the start of a um, abstract piece that I'm working on. That's why I used a nice big one. So for instance, here, let's use this journal that I just started working on. Oh, and I love this quote. Painting is just another way of keeping a diary, which I think is kind of cool. So this is um, a watercolor journal or a journal that I have made um, and hand sewn. It includes not only watercolor paper, but um, paper that's recycled, um, paper that I have taken from book pages and added, I've got to take that in, but also watercolor paper and then something like this where it's just like parchment cooking paper. <laughs> I use everything just to add um, a bit of variety. So if I wanted to paint on this using watercolor, I can't because um, it won't adhere. It'll, it'll probably give me a cool effect, but if I wanted to paint something a little bit more specific, then I would need to prime it. And I'm going to prime it and show you how to use this watercolor ground um, pretty easily. So I just like to use clips. I am addicted to clips in the next room here too. So when you open the watercolor ground, you'll see that it is quite thick. You can use a spatula. I just had a room key handy from my last um, travel, but you can use any type of spatula, a butter knife, a plastic knife, whatever you have handy and just Go ahead and give it a nice skimming of this watercolor ground. And I've realized that it doesn't have to be thick, so I'm even going to just scrape off a tiny bit and put it back into my jar here. So a spatula would probably you'd be able to scoop more out, um, but I love that with this room key, I'm able to get a really nice smooth effect going to go over my bolt clip there and then that way even if I wanted to use acrylic on this page 
or um, the charcoal. I could totally do that, no problem at all. So then all you have to do is let it dry. So it does take some planning, um, but again, it's called Watercolor Ground Try Art. I will link to it. If you purchase it because of the link or through the link, then just know that I will um, earn a small commission, okay? Just so you know that. But if you wanted to use other things, I have some charcoal here, just since this is going to be um, my abstract piece. Let's make some room here. Again, it's not my usual recording setup, so I have to get used to this angle and having a camera right in front of me. But I can even grab this charcoal, so let's say I wanted to create just a little bit of an abstract kind of flow to this piece. Because I have that watercolor ground, it will accept this charcoal really nicely. And I'm just going to make some marks, but then I can come back with my water and I can activate this charcoal and add it to this abstract piece that I'm, I just want to make marks, that's my goal. Okay, so it's not only great for watercolor, but I love that you can use um, other mediums as well on it. And I love how it's drying and there's that texture. So it mimics the look and feel of, um, I would say cold pressed paper. And when it dries, you'll still be able to see that texture through, which I think is really neat. So again, if you're doing more um, sketchbook studies with me and exploring working in your sketchbook, um, and don't have a watercolor sketchbook, then something like this might be fun to grab. The only thing that I would say is I wouldn't use it for pieces that are very detailed. So if you're working on very fine detailed paintings, then I wouldn't use the ground for it. But if you want to just have some expressive exploration and use other paper that is not watercolor based for a bit of this sort of abstracty flow, um, then I would go ahead and try this paper out. It is pretty cool and fun to play with. So again, just working on some abstract pieces to have some fun and uh, explore creativity. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's watercolor ground, really fun to play around with. Didn't know there was such a thing um, for watercolor painting. And then that way it just allows you to work with your watercolor even more. So go ahead and hit subscribe if you want to be notified when I share more. And as I'm looking at this, seeing how this green is drying, oh my gosh, I'm excited to play around with this page more and I can share that with you. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. I will see you next time.